Now let's take uh, one of the beautiful questions which came on the topic of permutation combination. This one of the very good question which uh, has come in the year 2021 of CAT paper. Read the question well. The question says, the number of ways of distributing, I repeat, the number of ways of distributing 15 identical balloons, 6 identical pencils and 3 identical erasers among 3 children such that each child gets at least 4 balloons and 1 pencil. Suddenly the child's are three in number and they are not identical, they cannot be identical. So the number of uh, things which are distributed among them, which basically is balloons, pencil and erasers are identical in number. What is the count? The count is 15 balloons followed by 6 pencil and 3 erasers. Right? And 3 erasers. And let's assume there are 3 childs what we have got in this question. The minimum thing that we have to distribute among all of them will be about 4 balloons and 1 pencil. So let's say child 1 got 4 balloon, 1 pencil. Here also I am distributing 1, 4 balloons and 1 pencil. Here I also am going to distribute 4 balloons and 1 pencil. So a total of 12 balloons and 3 pencils have been exhausted. If they have been exhausted, what is the final count which I have to distribute irrespective of any child gets whatever uh, out of 15 identical balloons, 6 identical pencil and 3 identical erasers will be how much? So 15 minus 12 will become 3. So I am left with 3 balloons, 3 pencils and 3 erasers. Now this is something which I will distribute to 3 of the children irrespective of anything. Right? It can be the case that some of them or one of them may get 0 out of any of the 3 or at least 2 or one of them. Clear? Now let's try to distribute the first element. You can choose any one of it. Uh, we can choose the balloon, we can choose the pencil, we can choose the eraser. Okay, because all of them are exactly 3 number. As all of them are exactly 3 number, let's try to distribute 3 balloons which are identical to 3 children which we have got. Okay. Now, there's no case that we have to consider with respect to restriction. So you can make and assume the cases the way you want. Let's try to assume the first case where at least two of them, or let's say exactly two of them are getting zero. Zero balloons. Let's say child number two and child number three are getting zero balloons. So in that case, child number one will basically get three balloons. So this is one of the cases where I'm distributing three to the first child and zero and zero to child two and child three. My case is basically case number one, where two of the children are getting zero balloons. With two of them becoming zero, which is child two and child three, there this is case number one. Now, three can come here also and three can come here also. So how many such cases will be possible? For case number one, there will be exactly three ways of distributing three balloons to three children where two of them are getting exactly zero. Similarly, you can try to make case number two. In case number two, I am let me make one of them to be a zero and two of them will get something. Let's assume the case where child three is getting zero, child two is getting one, two and child one is getting one. A sum total of one plus two plus zero will also be three. Now, if child three is becoming zero, then two and one can also be redistributed in this way. So for each value of zero, I'm getting two cases and zero can come at three places. So the total number of ways of distributing three balloons to three children in this fashion would be three into two, which is six. And let's assume the third case. What is the third case? Where none of them is getting zero. I repeat, the case number three will be where none of them are getting zero. In that case, the only possible case will be one, one and one, right? Now one, one and one, this is the only way possible. You read that one on the other side, the case will be only one, clear? So the total number of possible cases of distributing the leftover three balloons to three children would be any of these three, 10 cases, which is three plus six plus one, which is 10 cases. So for balloons, I found 10 of the ways. Taking care of the consideration, which I have to take care of or the restriction, then I'm getting 10 ways of distributing the leftover balloons. But apart from balloons, I also have got three pencils. So three pencils will also be distributed in how many ways? Will be in 10 ways. And similarly, you are left over with three erasers. Three erasers will also be distributed in a similar fashion, which is equal to 10 ways. So the total number of ways of distributing three balloons left over, three pencils left over, and three erasers left over would be 10 into 10 into 10, which is basically 
1000 ways and the answer for the given question would be as simple as 1000 ways or 1000 cases possible.